dealer welcomes you to our biggest clearance sale of the year the happy honda day sales event get year-end clearance pricing on over 900 new hondas plus a complimentary lifetime powertrain warranty with every new honda save thousands on your new honda right here at team honda hi business owners phase three woohoo but do your customers know you're back well that's where the clarence bug show and pelican broadcasting can help right now we've got great rates on advertising packages to help you get the word out shoot me an email at bugsclarence at gmail.com. Or better yet, call me up. I'd love to talk with you. 225-485-6839. Let's get together and make phase three the best it can possibly be. From appetizers, pasta dishes, and entrees, La Contea takes pride in preparing all the Italian cuisine we know you love. Enjoy live music every Thursday through Saturday from 6 to 9. Happy hour weekdays from 3 to 6. And brunch on Sundays from 11 to 2. As well as dinner portion size lunch specials for under $10. Visit our website to view our menu and book a party or meeting in our large banquet room. Once you try La Contea, your Italian dining will change forever. They said I could find you here. Why are you fishing? Our company's got to ship out two full color brochures and 20 color copies. You're killing me! It's done. Designed, printed, packaged, and shipped. How? You just gotta know the right people. Baker Printing, the printing people. How come you get to fish in this private lake? Like I said, you just gotta know the right people. You can know the right people too. Hello guys, it's Debbie. It's time. I've got a brand new location. 10510 Airline Highway, Baton Rouge, next to After Five Tuxedos. We have the perfect spot to get all your wedding and formal wear needs. Come see our one-of-a-kind name brand and get great prices. With 30 years experience, the best customer service anywhere. It's Debbie's Bridal, Airline Highway, Baton Rouge. See you soon. In the middle. All right, there you go. This one, that one, one over, that one over there. Yeah, there you go. Good morning and welcome to another edition of the Clarence Bug Show. Here's hoping that all is well with you and yours in this world today. Boy, if you've not been out of doors just yet, I'll tell you right now, you want to bundle up. It is uh, blustery, still humid, cold, all of the above wrapped up into one. So if your appointed rounds for this day uh, have not called for you to get out of doors just yet, word to the wise is supposed to be, notice I said, supposed to be sufficient. We start today's show talking about the weaponization and politicization of COVID-19. The mainstream media and others, for those of you that don't know, have used this pandemic for purposes that are flat out despicable. This episode, aside from the horrific nature of the deaths involved, has been fostered upon us in a manner that should make all Americans sick to their stomachs. I understand the Trump derangement syndrome as well as the next guy. But these are lives that we're talking about here. The mainstream media told us early on, and I'm, I'm going to walk you through a series of things here. The mainstream media told us early on that when President Trump said we are going to launch 
Operation Warp Speed, and we will have a vaccine by the end of the year. The media went ballistic. NBC, CBS, ABC, and their fact checkers came out and told us, no way. It's a brand new virus out there. You know, there's no way that you can observe the protocols and, and be able to come up with a vaccine in that amount of time. As a matter of fact, NBC News went so far as to say that it would, quote, take a miracle to have a vaccine by the end of the year. So now that there's a vaccine and it's in the process of being distributed, I guess that means that Donald Trump performed a miracle. Will he be given the credit for that? That's rhetorical. That's rhetorical. Does not require an answer. We all know the answer to that question. There's no way on God's green earth that he's going to get the credit for it. Meanwhile, to show you even further how the media weaponized the whole corona COVID-19 pandemic. Remember hydroxychloroquine? Remember how back in March, the president touted hydroxychloroquine as a viable tool to fight this epidemic. The media went ballistic. The American Medical Association, arguably, one of the biggest and most respected organization of physicians in this country went ballistic. Oh, you're trying to kill people. Oh, you're trying to use stuff that ain't been tested, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. Remember all of that? Well, looky here. Just this week, the American Medical Association buried on page 18 of their most recent report that, yeah, we kind of misspoke on that and we're officially reversing our opinion that hydroxychloroquine is actually good for fighting COVID-19. As a matter of fact, a recent study from the Henry Ford Health System says the death rate was cut in half for patients treated with hydroxychloroquine. If administered as soon as the symptoms occur, the death rate is cut even more than half. Now get this, over 40, four zero, international studies have shown an up to 80 plus percent reduction in the death rate when hydroxychloroquine is used to treat COVID-19. But for whatever reason, the mainstream media, the CDC, they don't recognize international studies. Hydroxychloroquine has been in use now for 64 years. But because Orange Man said it, oh, it's got to be bad. Got to be bad. The drug is so safe that physicians now for over 60 years have used it with no side effects on pregnant women or women becoming pregnant. And yet, the media fed you this line of crap. They're all oh, hydroxychloroquine, he, he, he gonna kill people, he gonna kill people. What may be saddest of all to me out of this, aside from the lying factor, is if you look at these international studies, 40 of them, that showed an 80 plus percent reduction 
in the death rate. We're talking potentially 90 to 100,000 American lives that could have been saved. All because the mainstream media, as they have done since day one of this administration, they have lied to us by omission, they have lied to us with statements, and they've lied about just about anything that they could spew out of their mouths. Forty international studies show even pregnant women can take it. Not a problem. The American Medical Association now reversing course and saying, in essence, well, you see what happened was we, we, we actually misspoke and it's actually good to fight COVID-19. If you don't think that it is beneath these people, mainstream media, if you don't think it is beneath them to weaponize a national and or global tragedy for their own selfish agenda, there's something wrong with you. You need to wake up and open your eyes and stop believing every little bit of information thrown your way from ABC News, NBC News, CBS, I don't even want to call them news because that really doesn't qualify, CNN, LOL, MS, LSD, all the folks that told you hydroxychloroquine, oh no, 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 that's, that's just like orange man, that's bad. When the American Medical Association comes out and reverses course, that's supposed to tell you something. Of course now, for a lot of y'all out there, you had succumbed to Trump derangement syndrome being incessantly fed to you by the media for so long that you didn't have the sense to do your own research. I guess in the grand scheme of things, we could be somewhat grateful for the American Medical Association finally reversing course. Of course, at this point, the damage has been done. I don't know about you, but when it comes to my fellow Americans, the only thing worse than the death rate so far from this virus is the fact that we didn't lower it because we got a bunch of yahoos in the mainstream media whose personal hatred for the leader of this country was so strong that they misled an entire population. 40 international studies. As a matter of fact, an op-ed piece written by Harvey Risch MD, PhD, professor of epidemiology at Yale University's School of Public Health, wrote in this opinion piece, quote, in the future, I believe this misbegotten episode regarding hydroxychloroquine will be studied by sociologists of medicine as a classic example of how extra scientific factors overrode clear-cut medical evidence. But for now, reality demands a clear scientific eye on the evidence and where it points. For the sake of high-risk patients, for the sake of our parents and grandparents, for the sake of the unemployed, for our economy, and for our polity, especially those disproportionately affected, we must start treating immediately. Potentially, 
90 to 100,000 of our fellow Americans would be alive today if the mainstream media hadn't lied to you. Of course now, it ain't the first time they've done it. Rest assured, it won't be the last. Well, Clarence, I, 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 I'm mad like you, but, 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 but at the end of the day, we got a vaccine now, and that's going to cure everything. Well, you might want to hold that thought for just a minute. And I'll tell you why. It's a virus, right? Like the flu, right? What do viruses do? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We'll talk about that after the first break of this hour. We'll come right back with more on the Clarence Bud Show, here and only here on the Pelican. Stay close. I owed the IRS $10,000. The IRS garnished my wages. They put a lien on my house. I'm self-employed and didn't report all my income. They claim I owe a lot more than I do. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency in the world. They do not give up until you pay. I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions Now and a great big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I called Tax Solutions Now and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions Now had my my wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. Tax Solutions Now can get you help. Our agents know the rules, can stop the pain, and get you the best deal. Tax Solutions Now saved my business. I qualified for the Fresh Start program. I paid less than I owed. We connect you with a team of former IRS agents and tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Time is running out. Call Tax Solutions Now. Call 800-778-4345. 800-778-4345. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. Hi, I'm Hurricane Betsy Barnes. And I'm Dr. Kay Siller with the Rocket Right Show. We are two busy blondes on the go showing off life in Louisiana. Watch us on Pelican Sports Network. And Talk 107.3 FM. Check local listings for times. Get 0.9% financing for 60 months on every new 21 Mazda, plus 90 days deferred payments during the season of inspiration at Baton Rouge's Mazda dealer, Team Mazda on Airline. Bolello's Furniture and Appliances, your dependable independent. Depend on us for service, for selection, for price. Get huge Whirlpool savings. Shop now and save on Whirlpool appliances throughout the store. Plus, experience our price match guarantee and ask about special financing. You can depend on the know-how of people who live appliances every day. Bolello's Furniture and Appliances. Your dependable independent with nationwide buying power. Hi, I'm Bobby Yarborough with Manda Fine Meats. Here at Manda, we know what the folks of South Louisiana love. They love great flavored smoked sausage, delicious deli meats, and specialty items like boudin and andouille sausage. Manda Fine Meats has been providing these products since 1947. We produce them right here in Baton Rouge, so you know you're always getting the freshest product at your local grocery store. Manda Fine Meats. Taste the fresh local flavor in everything we make. Make it Manda every time. Welcome back to today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show. You know, um, in this age of opinionated news, where the media feels it is their responsibility to shape a story and subsequently how you view the story is what it is. Personally, I'm old school. I have always believed in this country. I have always believed in the American people. And as a result, I have always viewed my platform as a way to simply give you information, give you 
the facts and allow you to then take that information, do additional research on your own, and then make an informed decision of your own based on what the information that has been passed to you in conjunction with your own research, whatever conclusion that brings you to, I'm happy with that. Primarily because I know that you've not just taken what someone says at face value. I had that lesson reinforced with me years ago when dealing with issues of faith. My then pastor at that time was very fond of, of telling the congregation at the end of his sermon, he said, well, first of all, I want you to take notes during the sermon. Write down the scriptural references I give you. Write down the things I say. Then go home, open your Bible, read the passages, see what the Holy Spirit reveals to you, and then you decide whether or not I've told you the truth. For whatever reason, that stuck with me because it said to me that my pastor at the time had the utmost confidence in what he was saying, so much so that he felt moved to tell you, prove me wrong. Do the research on your own and see where it leads you. In the toss to the last break, I mentioned to you that a lot of people may be of the opinion that, well, Clarence, I'm, 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 I'm as upset as you are that the media lied to us about this crap, and I don't know if I should trust them anymore, but at the end of the day, man, we finally got the vaccine so we can put all this in the rearview mirror. Well, you might want to back that bus up. Let's think about this. The coronavirus is just that. It's a virus, similar to the flu, in that they are both viruses. What does the flu do every year? It mutates. Last year, and, and this is how they come up with the flu vaccine, okay? Every year, the physicians, virologists, epidemiologists, they all try to figure out what strain of the flu is going to be the most dominant this year. So they craft a vaccine for what they think is going to be the dominant strain. In recent years, the flu has mutated so much, so often, that last year, the flu vaccine was only expected to be 47% effective. Meaning, if 100 people got the flu vaccine, came in contact with the flu, only 47 of them would be protected from the flu. Why? Because it had mutated and the vaccine was for a different strain. Well, we now find out that already, at least according to health officials, the coronavirus has now started to mutate. Just weeks after the government in the UK suggested that the virus might mutate, they now have at least a thousand cases reported of a new strain of COVID-19. Britain's health minister, Matt Hancock, suggested that this new strain might be the reason they've seen this big increase in cases in London so far. This new strain has now been detected in 60 different parts of England. And this is according to the vaunted World Health Organization. Now, they're insisting 
that the emergence of this new strain is not all that much cause for concern because after all, that's what viruses do. They mutate. Here's the problem with that. Depending upon the mutation of the virus, how effective is the vaccine going to be? Well, I'm glad you posed that question because their health minister says, well, we might have to, quote, tweak the vaccine some. <laughs> if you read between the lines on all of this, for all you folk out there that had breathed that big old collective sigh of relief, whoo, we got the vaccine, we can put all this mess behind us. You might want to hold that bus from leaving the parking lot, Hulse, because apparently this crap is going to be with us longer than any of us thought. Now, what's really going to be interesting to watch unfold is how many doses of the current vaccine are going to be distributed and injected before the new strains pop up here. Interestingly, in the UK, there's only one mutation discovered so far. <laughs> in China, where it supposedly originated, there are 11 different strains reported so far. Hmm. Interesting. Tell you what else is going to be interesting as we circle back all the way around to where our conversation with you started this morning. How much of this is <gasps> brand new to you? How much of what I've told you so far about the American Medical Association reversing course on hydroxychloroquine is new to you? How much of what I've told you about there being 40 international studies showing that an 80 plus percent reduction in the death rate occurred in countries using hydroxychloroquine as opposed to our death rate is news to you. If you find yourself right now saying, I didn't know about any of this stuff. Well, maybe it's because you've been worshiping at the altar of CNN. Maybe it's because you've been sucking up the drivel from ABC, NBC, CBS, MS, LSD, and all the rest of them. Rest assured, y'all, there is nothing that is beneath these people. They will look you straight in your eye and lie to you. And what they do is they're slick about it. They lie by omission. See, there's two ways you can lie to people. You can tell them a lie, or you can just decide, I'm not going to tell you the truth. I didn't tell you a lie. I just didn't tell you the truth. Remember when you were a child and you did something you had no business doing? You knew you were wrong. And your dad or your mom confronted you about it. And in that conversation, when it got to the come to Jesus moment, when you realize, damn, I'm busted. When you finally fessed up, what did you do? You kind of mutter it under your breath. You couldn't look them in the eye because you knew you were wrong. These folk will look you straight in your face and lie like the day is long. If you haven't learned yet, I don't know what it's going to take to wake y'all up. Then again, 
Some of y'all need to be governed. Some of y'all are so lazy. Some of y'all are so willing to put your life and your livelihood in somebody else's hands. You need to be governed. But for the rest of us real Americans who understand full well, this country was founded on the principle, government, get the hell out of my way and let me do what I need to do to take care of my own. For the rest of us, y'all need to go somewhere. Just saying. Bottom of the hour. Let me bang this break out. Get it out of the way. I guess I need to send some congratulations to the mayor of New Orleans. As petty as she is, she got her way. We'll talk about that next on today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show. Here and only here on the Pelican. Stay close. Got termites? Get Premier Pest. PremierPestServices.com Hi, I am Dr. Farrell Frugier, Jr., and I am a general dentist at Frugier Family Dentistry. I was born and raised in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I went to Catholic High School, LSU, and LSU School of Dentistry in New Orleans, where I received my DDS degree in 1986. I always have and will continue to be committed to continuing my education, to invest in technology, which makes the diagnosis and delivery of dentistry more thorough, more comfortable, and more aesthetically pleasing. In our practice, we are here to serve the patients. We want to improve their quality of life and to develop relationships with our patients. In dentistry, we have a chance to impact lives on a daily basis, not just by doing dentistry, but by getting to know them and being a part of their life. We also believe in giving back to our community. So every year, we get back to the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank, Toys for Tots, and Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center. Please stop by and visit our office. We would love to take care of you and your family. Jaguar Nation, we need your help in masking up Louisiana. Masking up or slow the spread of COVID-19. During this time, we must continue to wear a mask. Wash your hands and practice social distancing. It's important that we continue to abide by the CDC's guidelines to stop the spread. Jaguar Nation, we challenge you to mask up. Go Jags! Hello guys, it's Debbie. It's time. I've got a brand new location. 10510 Airline Highway, Baton Rouge, next to After Five Tuxedos. We have the perfect spot to get all your wedding and formal wear needs. Come see our one-of-a-kind name brand and get great prices. With 30 years experience, the best customer service anywhere. It's Debbie's Bridal, Airline Highway, Baton Rouge. See you soon. At Team Toyota, Toyotathon is underway. It's your chance to save during our biggest sale of the year. Get our lowest prices and our lowest payments on every new Toyota. Plus, get a complimentary lifetime powertrain warranty with every new Toyota. Right now at Team Toyota. Caught spiders. Premier Pest Services. Welcome back to today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show. The uh, never-ending saga of Mayor LaToya Cantrell, City of New Orleans mayor, and Christian singer, Grammy award-winning Christian singer, Lauren Daigle, has moved on to a new chapter. Yesterday, Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser, and for those of you that don't know, uh, his office is in charge of the Office of Culture, Recreation, and Tourism, in addition to his lieutenant governor duties. Announcing that um, 
Lauren Daigle has now officially been removed from the lineup for New Year's Rockin' Eve's New Orleans celebration. A spokesperson for the city says that contrary to what you might glean from the Lieutenant Governor's uh, press release, only Lauren Daigle was removed. The New Orleans event will continue uh, as scheduled. Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser saying yesterday that New Orleans's mayor, Latoya Cantrell's actions against Lauren Daigle cost not just New Orleans the opportunity at invaluable worldwide promotion at a time when it's needed most, they also cost every city in Louisiana that had a chance at hosting the event. Quote, when Mayor Cantrell's personal feelings toward Lauren Daigle being tapped to promote her city came to light, we attempted to move the safe and socially distanced celebration to a location outside of New Orleans and Orleans Parish, even offering to hold the event on a riverboat in Gretna with New Orleans still serving as the backdrop. It was then Mayor Cantrell took this issue to the next level, writing letters and making phone calls to Dick Clark Productions and ABC. The result of her actions was a decision by Dick Clark Productions to pull Lauren Daigle from the lineup and any celebration from Louisiana to be broadcast worldwide. Again, a statement from the mayor's office contradicts that, just for the record. His statement continues. In 2018, the Louisiana Office of Tourism launched our Louisiana Feed Your Soul brand on Mardi Gras Day with the highly successful activation yielding millions of brand impressions and $1.45 million in earned media. The plan included amplifying that brand message with two-time Grammy Award-winning singer, songwriter, and native of Lafayette, Lauren Daigle. As a brand ambassador, the state followed her upward trajectory, and in every interview, she spoke of her love for all things Louisiana. Over the last two years, Lauren has made numerous personal appearances promoting Louisiana as a place where you can feed your soul. In addition, she was featured on the cover of Louisiana's current visitor's guide, as well as social media posts and takeovers. As part of the recent Sunshine Plan to guide the state through recovery, Lauren recorded a version of You Are My Sunshine, Louisiana's state song featured in an advertising campaign running nationwide and online. To have invested so much into the promotion of our great state, along with the promotion of the city of New Orleans, and see one of the biggest opportunities squandered over what can only be described as retaliation is beyond belief. His message concludes, I assure you, the Louisiana Office of Tourism and my office will never waver in our passion for this state and its cities, nor will we let our personal feelings interfere with the promotion of Louisiana. We will work tirelessly to return Louisiana to record-breaking tourism years ahead. I would imagine this is probably the end of it. Well, wait, 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 I misspoke. Let, let, let me back that up. This is probably the end of this particular episode. Meaning, folks in Louisiana are some of the most 
caring, loving, kind people you will ever meet. People come here from other states, other countries, halfway around the world. And when they return home, you already know, y'all know I'm not lying to you about this. What do they talk about? They talk about the people, they talk about the food, they talk about the music, the culture, the heritage, et cetera, et cetera, blah, blah, blah. And while Louisianians are some of the most caring, forgiven people on the planet, when you do something that sticks in our craw, it's their hoss. We don't forget about stuff easily. Particularly when you're talking about something that occurs in the midst of a pandemic, something that can only be described in the best of times as being petty. Some fights you don't have to pick. Some fights are so small in the grand scheme of things, you would be much better off spending your time, energy, effort, and resources picking a fight on something else. I have learned in 40 professional years of broadcasting, in 40 years of watching people, and in 40 years of talking with my fellow Louisianians, I understand full well that yeah, we are some very caring and loving down home folks here. But when you wrong us, particularly over something petty, we don't forget about it that easily. There are so many fish, bigger fish, that need to be fried in New Orleans. Man, I just made myself hungry for lunch, talking about frying fish, <laughs> but I digress. There are so many bigger fish to fry for the mayor in New Orleans than this, but maybe we could chalk it up to being 2020. Maybe we can chalk it all up to COVID fatigue. Maybe we could chalk it all up to, well, she's trying to run a whole city. You know, she's got all this stuff on her plate. Maybe it's just that. Or maybe you just petty. Show of hands. That's what I thought. Uh, I'll take you just petty for 200, please, Alex. There you go. There you go. We've got uh, our final break of today's show, Breathing Down My Neck. But uh, before, we, before we knock that out, have you heard? Um, there is still, believe it or not, some common sense alive and well in this country. I know, I know. Some of y'all just went, oh, really? Where can we find it? Where can we find it? Believe it or not, <laughs> in all places, it's in California. Of all places. I told you it's 2020. So don't be surprised. You know, it, 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 it is what it is. And yes, California is still, in my opinion, the granola state. Why do I call it the granola state? Well, I'm glad you asked. Because it's just like granola. If you take out all the fruits and the flakes, all you got left are the nuts. The granola state. Some of y'all won't get that till later, but that's okay. But to think, it's got to be 2020. If I'm talking about common sense, and California in the same breath. It's gotta be 2020. Of course, now the scary part about all of this is 2020 is just about over. So I don't know if I should gladly wait to usher in 2021 
or if I should be more scared than ever because if the trend continues as stupid as we've been in 2020, God only knows how stupid we're going to be in 2021. Well, wonders never cease. California and common sense in the same sentence. <laughs> and believe it or not, it has to do with COVID-19. Tell you what, let me get this final break of today's show out of the way. Don't y'all forget, holiday time, the porch pirates are out in full swing. So if you're doing your shopping online, you already know, got to put some protocols in place to stay safe and got to watch out for folks that are just waiting to victimize you to steal your presents. Final break of today's show, we'll bang it out. Come back, put that big old pretty bowl on this puppy, and we'll wrap up today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show right where you've got it, only on the Pelican. Stay close. Hi, Paul Burr with Manda Fine Meats. Here at Manda, we know what the folks of South Louisiana love. They love great flavored smoked sausage, delicious deli meats, and specialty items like boudin and andouille sausage. Manda Fine Meats has been providing these products since 1947. We produce them right here in Baton Rouge, so you know you're always getting the freshest product at your local grocery store. Manda Fine Meats. Taste the fresh local flavor in everything we make. Make it Manda every time. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling Nothing could ever bring me down Nothing could ever bring me down Taste the feeling Surprise! Something good has finally happened in 2020. Yours truly, The Clarence Bug Show, gets to be with you every day of the week. That's right, 11 to 12 every weekday. And of course, The Exiles, right in front of yours truly, from 10 to 11, yours truly, 11 to 12. So now, it's appointment viewing. Five days a week, here on The Pelican. The Clarence Bug Show, the only thing missing is you. Sometimes life is wonderful, and sometimes it's not. Cherish the good, but always be prepared for life's challenges. At Private Healthcare, we provide the peace of mind you deserve. With Private Healthcare, you'll get the coverage you want and healthcare you need. If your employer doesn't supply healthcare coverage and you don't qualify for Medicare or Medicaid, you need to give us a call right now. Private health care is private health insurance for ages 65 and under with medical, dental, vision, and even prescription coverage. When life comes at you unexpectedly, you need to be ready. And health insurance is your financial safety net. Health insurance has never been so easy and affordable. If you're looking for health coverage at the best price and your annual household income is $35,000 or more, call the number on the screen now and speak with a live health care consultant. Don't wait. Get the coverage you need now. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. segment of today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show. You know, it, uh, for those of us that watch societal trends, politics, even pop culture, for that matter, we all know the ACLU, American Civil Liberties Union, is about as big an aggregation of nut jobs you will ever find in your life. These folks make it a habit of going 
out of their way to find nuances in the Constitution to exploit. And as is the case with many times with liberals, they do it under the guise of it's for your betterment or it's for the betterment of the country or it's for the children. You hear it all the time. So last April, the ACLU sued Orange County in California, saying that the sheriff there needs to release any inmate who might be, quote, medically vulnerable to COVID-19. Didn't matter what these inmates had done, according to the ACLU, to let a murderer or a child rapist catch COVID in jail, despite what they'd done to get there, would be cruel and unusual punishment. So they sued. And of course, a judge agreed with them, ordering the sheriff of Orange County, Don Barnes, to release all prisoners that were medically vulnerable to catching COVID-19. Because in the judge's words, it, quote, violated their rights. Sheriff Barnes is a practical man. And I don't know if you've noticed or not, but in recent memory with everything surrounding COVID-19, particularly uh, the lockdown orders and things of that nature, thank God for the sheriffs in America. Many of them are so firmly rooted and grounded that they are standing up now and saying, as the chief law enforcement officer of this parish, this county, what have you, I've got a duty to protect our citizens, and I don't care what this ACLU or judge says, I'm not enforcing that law. So the sheriff there, Don Barnes, says, quote, we've released 1,400 inmates to date since March for low-level offenders. The only inmates remaining now are serious offenders. Of the medically vulnerable, 90 of them are in custody for murder or attempted murder. 94 are still in custody for child molestation. Then he applies common sense, additionally to not letting these clowns out. Quote, everybody in the community is at risk of COVID right now. Not considering the risk to the public they present by being released back into the community I think it's not only absurd, I think it places the community at significant risk. I have no intention of doing that, of releasing those individuals back into the community. I think they pose a serious threat. Apparently, common sense, which was seen boarding a flight on Delta Airlines at Baton Rouge Metro Airport must have landed in Orange County, California. Because here's a guy that says, whoa, 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 wait a minute, back this bus up. I'm not going to force that. And I'm not about to let murderers and child rapists out back into the community because you're afraid they're going to catch COVID in jail. You know, there was a time in this country, y'all, where we prided ourselves 
on having common sense. We may not have had, as Granny Clampett would say, we may not have had a whole lot of book learning. We may not have had a job where we made a whole lot of money. We may not have had all the creature comforts that life has to offer. But at the end of the day, if we didn't have anything, we had common sense. You know, the older you get, the more you come to appreciate just how smart your parents actually were. When we were growing up, and y'all know this is the truth, when you were 18, 19, 20, you thought your people were the dumbest thing God ever put on this earth. They don't understand what's going on. They, uh, 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 you, you, you know the line. Your parents, you thought then, were the dumbest people on the planet. But if God blesses you to get older, when you hit 30, 40, 50, in my case, 60, you realize, huh, my parents are pretty smart after all. My late father, God bless him, used to tell me as a kid, son, there is nothing worse than an educated fool. You know the kind. All them letters behind their name, PhD, BVD, LMNOP, them kind of folk, ain't got a lick of common sense. Not a lick of it. As the old folk used to say, ain't got the sense God gave a billy goat. And unfortunately, these are the people that you and I have allowed to get into the court system. These are the people you and I have allowed to get into elected office. These are the people you and I have allowed to get on our school boards and in our institutions of higher learning. And then we have the gall to wonder how it is we find ourselves where we find ourselves in America in 2020. Thank God for Sheriff Don Barnes for refusing this order. I'm going to keep an eye on this story because you got to imagine if a judge has made the order, the sheriff is thumbing his nose and other unsundry parts of his anatomy at the ruling. Probably have not heard the last of this. We're going to keep an eye on this and see where it all goes. Now that being said, my time's up and I got to go. But this day, just like every other day, I give it to you. You are 100% correct. America, we're not perfect. <laughs> But for this old boy's money, it's the best there is. And God knows there is no place else on his green earth that I'd rather be. Speaking of the good Lord, you got to know he loves you. And I hope you know that I do too. Then again, <laughs> there ain't a doggone thing you can do about either one. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless. <laughs>